Good morning, it's Jonathan Barrett with the Morning Debrief. It's uh, currently the uh, 20... where are we now? It's the 21st of December. Current time is uh, 8.11. Uh, apologies for not getting the report out the last couple of days. I've been ill, uh, which hasn't been all that, uh, all that good at all. OK, uh, what's really happening out there at the moment? Looks like we're in for a bit of a Christmas rally, uh, which I think is quite positive. Uh, that Christmas rally um, obviously extended last night with the Dow was up 337 points. Uh, let's just have a look at some of those closes. The Dow up 337 or 2.87%. The S&P was up 36 points or 3% and the Nasdaq was up 3.19%. Uh, so exceptionally uh, bullish uh, close uh, last night. Um, trying to find the real reasons as to why it all went up. I can only think that it's uh, uh, just a convergence of a lot of that uh, economic data we've seen over the last week or two, which has suggested um, that uh, things look OK. On the political side, we saw the Republicans forced to force an impasse over the payroll tax cut. Now, that's quite interesting, because I would have seen that as being more of a negative rather than a positive. But anyway, uh, let's see how that, that unfolds. Uh, apart from that, uh, builders in US start, uh, building US starts um, start were the highest in the last 19 months, and that was uh, pretty huge indeed. Um, also, uh, when you look at uh, what's happening in Europe, you can see that some of those bond auctions are going well. Uh, Spain sold 5.64 billion euros in bills, which was uh, more than the target, so that was pretty good. So it just basically goes to show that people uh, are interested in that debt, and uh, that seems to uh, be supporting the market. So uh, let's hope it, uh, it certainly continues. OK, let's have a look at the commodities now, just around the world. Uh, commodity um, futures. Pretty much see there at the moment that um, Brent crude was up 3.34. Uh, heating oil, uh, sorry, Brent, Restex was up 3.34 as well. Pretty strong rebounds on across of all of these, so it looks like everyone's feeling a lot happier than they were a week ago. Uh, some very large moves in cocoa. Uh, but the other markets are uh, relatively stable. Wheat was up 8, uh, corn uh, was up 6, and uh, uh, soybean there uh, were up 7.7 or 0.68%. Copper rebounded off that trend line. I'll show you that trend line in a sec because that was quite important. And gold is up $18 at 1615 Silver also positive, up 2.2%. Now, let's have a look at uh, some of the charts. Uh, as we normally do, let's start, off with the, let's start off with the dollar index. Now, it comes back a little bit, obviously, but uh, that's, as long as it stays above that trend line, uh, then I'm more than comfortable to remain long. Looks like we, we might get a little bit of a correction, but uh, let's see, it just muddles along uh, from here. Uh, obviously, a break back through that last today's high, uh, through that 81.07, uh, that tends to send it uh, up and running. But I think as we come into those liquid times, expect a, a little bit of volatility. Okay, just have a look at some of the uh, commodities now. Um, let's have a look at crude first. Up 3.72%, that's quite a jump indeed. And um, these momentum indicators will start to pick up. So you can always expect uh, a little bit more on the top side, or it just might be an idea just to run with this, uh, with this particular rally that we've got. And there's that uh, run there on the charts. Looks quite, uh, quite positive from that front. Um, also looking at um, copper. Copper pretty strong, a rebound off that uh, trend. And uh, looks OK at the moment, but uh, we've got to see some poorly stuff out of Europe for that. That's the trend line we're following, have been following for some time. So uh, whilst that trend's intact, you've got to be relatively assumed that, uh, that uh, it all looks good. But if you are long, stops have to go under this area. Uh, if you are short, just revise it, because I think the market will test that top end of the range again. So you've just got to be a little bit uh, careful uh, as to uh, what happens there. Right, that's uh, on the copper. Um, on the Aussie, obviously you see a little bit of a rebound there, back in that triangle, and uh, probably expect that to uh, continue. Actually looks quite neat and tidy. These sorts of moves do look as though there's an attempt to the top side. Righty ho, just have a quick look at the, um, the local markets, the SPY up 1.83%. Once again, these triangles look uh, quite repetitive. Uh, lower end tested, test the top side. Um, only if it breaks through this lower end do you actually look to uh, sell it. Righty ho, well let's have a look and see what's out there in terms of economic calendars tonight. Um, obviously being Wednesday, could see a little bit of moving and shaking. And uh, when you look at Wednesday, today we've got credit card, oh, that's in uh, New Zealand, Bank of England minutes, which will be quite important. Uh, interesting to see how these uh, tenders go, refinancing tenders uh, in Europe, pretty important and uh, in the state's existing home sales. So uh, that's, uh, that's uh, 
that's pretty much a, about it. So I uh, hope everyone has an enjoyable day. Uh, it might be easy just to have a look at this Christmas rally. Uh, we haven't got too much special things out there. And uh, what we'll find is the morning debrief, uh, so everyone is aware, will uh, stop on Friday uh, for quite a, for a bit of a holiday for about a month. Um, so uh, let's, uh, but I'll keep you posted as to what happens there. Anyway, have a good day. Happy trading. We'll talk to you later.